Carly here with another tip and trick and this one is how to make your own striper um, for those of you who don't have art brushes but have these you can make your own striper um, just by using a striper that you already have so this is how you do it this is the striper that I use this is an art brush um, that I cut down I got this from Michaels and this is the American Painter one, number 505, uh, 4050, called the Script Liner. And it's just the right size for me. It's not too long, it's not too short. And I cut it down, and it's, um, it's um, I don't think it's a natural hair, but it's a synthetic, almost like a natural hair, and it bends really well when I do striping. And this is the one I use a lot. And I'll just show you here how it works. I just use my paint and make sure you water down your paint. And I keep mine in a little spray bottle to spray it to make it thin. That's one thing that helps when you're doing striping with paint. Make sure your paint is very thin and it will go so much better. And just run it through. And then when you want to stripe something, it stripes very, very well. And just tap it and then just press down or if I want to make you know if I want to go up I don't know if you can see that and it stripes really well for me and it makes really nice straight lines and things like that this is a really good striper I use it a lot and for those of you who don't have art brushes or, or can't afford them, this one was like $5. So, um, And you have these. I have lots of these. Lots of these in different colors. And I don't use them all because some of them are kind of light. Some of them are dark. Mostly I use black. And white and silver I don't use I have these in all colors in red and purple and blue and yellow and green and I don't use them all so for those that I don't use or the ones that you don't use a lot this is what you do you just take one that you don't use clean it off like that and get you some acetone and just clean it off and the acetone. That. And wipe it off. And there's you a striping brush. So if you wanted to stripe something, bring your paint back over. And you just run it in your paint. And then you have a striper for whatever you want to do it with. And there you go. It's really easy, cheap, you already have it. And it works just fine. Wanna make straight lines, you got it. It'll make straight lines. And this one is already nice and flexible so you don't have to go out and buy a different brush or buy a set of brushes or anything like that. And it'll work just as good as, you know, an art brush. And it's something you already have. And then when you're done with it all you do and since this is um this is paint you just clean it off in some water and i'll just spray some water on here and just clean it clean it off and wipe it off and then you just put it back in the bottle for later so how simple was that? And how many of us have these around that we don't even use? And you just need one, and you just clean it off and keep using it. So this has been my tip to make your own striper out of stripers you already have. You just use the one you have and clean it, use it for what you need, and then put it back. So I hope this was of some help. Uh, for those of us who are watching our budget and want to do nail art but don't want to spend all the money for the stuff, this particular striper I got at the Dollar Dollar Tree. They're only a dollar and they have them in many different colors, gold, uh, blue, red, yellow. 
glitters. Um, they're only a dollar, but those of us who don't want to spend that extra money and you already have one, here's your solution. Just use what you already have. Just reuse it. Um, so if you have any other tips and tricks you'd like for me to try, please let me know and I'll be glad to um, do what I can to get it done for you. And I do thank you all for watching. And if you notice my nails, these are hibiscus flowers. These will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for this design. I hope you like those. It's summer. It's Hawaiian, my tropical um, hibiscus flower. So those will be coming out in the next couple weeks. So look out for those and many of my other tutorials and videos. And thank you again for all my wonderful subscribers. I love you all. And thanks for sharing and supporting me. It's wonderful. It makes me feel really good. And um, thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day. Bye.